Hey guys, this is Nicole Mackin, and I am here to do a layout for the Crafty Maven Gateway YouTube channel for Free Flow Wednesday, which is basically just a normal layout, um, 12 by 12 or eight and a half by 11 or any other size. And it kind of focuses um, on the crafter and, and their style. And so um, if any of you watch my YouTube channel, which is Nick Mackin, N-I-C-M-A-C-K-I-N, um, you know that I like to work within kits a lot. Um, I'll often work within a manufacturer's kit, so I'll get a variety of supplies from the same paper line, and I'll work with that, and then I split it up and then make my own kits. And I, I do quite a few videos on... Um, on, on that, on using it, on using kits and why that works for me. So I thought that um, because that is really my style that I would do that for this, um, this video. And so I am working with the Simple Stories So Fancy line, which I am in love with. And when I saw the inspiration for this week, um, I knew that this is a paper line I needed to work with. Um, the beginning of the video, there were two photos. Those were the inspiration for the week. And um, a few things that I took the inspiration from was one, the color scheme. While this line doesn't have much orange, it's more of a yellow. That purplish pink color and the aqua colors together combined really made me feel like um, they matched that color scheme kind of generally that were in those two photos. This heart here that I'm cutting out of one of the... Um, like Project Life type of cards. Um, it, I was inspired to use it because in the very, very first image at the very bottom, there's a letter that's made up of a variety of different patterns. And so this I thought felt very much like that. The third um, way I was inspired from those photos was in the second photo, you have multiple, uh, I, think, I think they're flamingos, um, all together. So you have a whole bunch of one thing. And so that inspired me to make this layout using a whole bunch of one of the embellishments. And I decided to do the frames. Um, I tend to collect frames. I use them fairly regularly, but I always have a ton left over. So I've decided to um, grab a few of the frames from the frame pack and just use a whole bunch of them on one layout um, in the same way that you had that photo with multiple of the same. And um, another part of my style is that I like to um, layer a lot. And so this ends up being a layout that has a lot of layering and uh, a lot of use of those frames and, um, and then use of that heart that has that kind of mosaic feel to it. So here I'm just, I have these photos and there's, um, there, are, there are four photos, but I end up cutting one of the photos down into two separate ones, um, mostly because I, I um, it worked better with the type of frames I ended up with. I initially was going to do more of a grid type of um, situation. So I wanted all five frames to be the exact same size because I, I envisioned doing more, like I said, more of a grid and then working and embellishing on top of the grid. And so I was looking for another frame, the exact same size of these other four, and because I had run out of them in this pack. And so I went to my stash. And when I went to my stash, I found um, one a little bit smaller, but it's, also, it's a... Uh, um, a vertical rectangle so I decided that I would layer it on top of a larger one um, and separate that photo into two separate um, just to focus on each girl in that picture and because they're a little farther apart in the photo and so I'm not able to really fit them both into one frame I know I've, I've done that a few times that's kind of one of my tricks is that if I'm um, wanting to really focus on two individuals that are in the same photo, I'll often separate the photo and um, and do it that way. So here I'm just cutting them out and I pause that and don't make you watch all that, but I'm just um, getting all the photos into the frames. And here I'm just looking for the paper I'm gonna use. Most of these pap papers are cut apart cards. Um, so I'm just trying to go through and dig out um, just some potential papers. I really liked the, the music paper because they were dancing. Um, I don't end up using it all on the page, but there are music notes on the one of the frames, and then the embellishments I end up using have the very the music theme to them. And so it just was a perfect paper line for these photos because of the the music um, embellishments that are are included. <clears throat> 
Excuse me. So I had the extra paper pack, like the background papers that went with a simple story. So fancy line. And I choose the pink one. And it's kind of like a, a watercolor brush type of looking paper. It's really cute. And um, I'm so sorry for the beeps, you guys. I just got a new phone and I apparently haven't um, programmed it to not make noise when I get texts in. <laughs> sorry about that. It has been a crazy week. I'm just really quickly going to tell you. Um, it's a week that my daughters do this. I don't know if you guys have heard of Missoula Theater. Um, so it's like a super crazy week. And so they had that this week. Um, I worked quite a bit this week. We're leaving for vacation today. And on Monday, my phone fell and broke. And I, because they messed up with my insurance, I just got my phone back yesterday, which is what I use to do all my videos. And so I'm literally like uh, doing like, doing this video right before I'm ready to pack to leave for for a week and so <laughs> it's kind of crazy but so I had this new phone and I'm not completely um I don't have everything down pack yet uh on on how to uh, uh, run it and make sure it's working so I'm hoping this video turns out okay so anyway so here I'm just trying to figure out how I want to um lay out the photos and I really want this heart and it, but I realize that doing it in a grid fashion and getting that heart involved in there isn't going to necessarily work so I go to what I normally do which is layering and so I um I'm just grabbing here some more um some just some more cards and and things that I can use on this page and uh thinking that they're very similar in size um and just trying to find, you know, what goes well with the page, what has a phrase on it that is perfect. And there were some really great ones um, that really, really fit these photos. And that um, You Make My World Sparkle was, was one of them. Um, and here I'm still thinking, I think, grid form. I'm still thinking that that's kind of what, what I want to do. But um, here pretty soon I'll just start... I'll just start layering and tucking things in, <laughs> so um, which is always my go-to. It's just it's something I enjoy. I, I like it when there's not space between things. I like to have um, things together and clustered, and so I really like this card and um, decide that I'm just going to see how this looks, just clustering them together, and then I end up going with that. So. Um, I'm rounding the corners because the frames have rounded corners. Well, all of them, but that little one that I added in. Um, and I just felt like that would feel a little bit more cohesive. Um, I definitely want to use this cassette tape. Now, I end up actually not using that because there was a really cute chipboard sticker that had gold polka dots. And I really wanted to use it, and I just didn't want to use them both on the page. And so I end up putting a different navy blue and white card up there and then putting a cassette tape sticker on. Um, so this frame that I'm putting down now, on the bottom right, it has a little sliver of music notes. And so I wanted to make sure that that showed on the page because of the music theme. Um, Actually, there's a couple of sections of it that have music notes. And so um, I wanted to make sure that, that a lot of those showed and they didn't get covered. And then the frames had just really cute embellishments like that top one has arrows. And um, the one on the bottom right says you and me. And this is a fairly new. I mean, these my girl, these two girls have been dancing together. It's my daughter and a friend. Um, but this girl just moved to her school. And so now they're actually like really good friends, not just uh, girls that know each other through dance class. And so um, I just love that sentiment. And um, the bottom littler one says the best. And that's just because it's a really funny photo of her. Um, you know, crazy dance move. So anyway, so here I'm getting everything glued down because I'm liking having that heart being the center of the layout and working everything else in around it. And some things I tuck on top and some things I tuck underneath. Um, I wanted to make sure I didn't lose the shape of the heart because, you know, that was kind of the the um, the center of the page. And so I, I didn't want it to just look like a random weird shape. I wanted it to be obvious that it was a heart. And so um, just getting everything adhered down. I probably need to go back because I'm kind of in a hurry. So I kind of need, probably need to go back and maybe um, adhere some things down a little bit better before I put this in, a, in an album. 
Um, but so here I'm looking through the cards one more time because I'm I'm thinking that I want to um, get rid of the cassette tape there, and that is just perfect because when it makes me think of a song and music and um, and because it, it was about two little girls and it just worked out perfect. So um, and then I get end up putting the cassette tape sticker down the bottom right and then I kind of have that navy blue is spread out a little bit the page so this is a very usable line like I really really like there were a ton of more embellishments I could have used for this page because they're very girly and cute and the colors are gorgeous and they're just fun um, I could have probably embellished to no ends with this paper line, but I had to stop myself at some point because the page was pretty full. Um, but, uh, so here I, I having to adjust a little bit because I guess I didn't want the heart, I didn't want the heart to lose the shape of a heart and I didn't want to cover the you and me on there and, um, that too cute on that bottom card and that bottom cards where I end up journaling. Um, I didn't want to cover those words up and I wanted to leave myself enough room to journal. So I'm just trying to do that. And I, this record says groove, which is just perfect. Um, cause they're definitely grooving <laughs> and, um, I tuck that in and I end up with, um, basically three chipboard pieces. So I have them spread out. Um, and then, uh, I have that camera, um, there, the like record player and then the cassette tape were all chipboard so um they it, um, gives it um to the page and the chipboard frames in general give great dimension already i didn't need a lot but um i like how how they add what they add to the page again i'm so sorry for the sounds if you guys can hear that guys um So yeah, I'm having trouble with this frame, so I put a little, um, popped out underneath it just so it sticks down better. I love this girl in gold because I have some gold on that card, and then there's gold on that heart, the bottom uh, right next to the two cute. So I went, I wanted to um, get that in here, and I just kind of tuck it in. Um, between those two frames and I use an enamel dot to dot the eye later on. I end up taking this off because I end up finding another embellishment I like better so I liked the lol because I was just cracking up I, it was just so funny that they were like creating their own dance and they were just hilarious and so much personality and um, so I thought that that fit but I don't end up using it I end up liking um, this a lot better. Um, just because I think I needed some some more of the other colors to get up there somewhere because of that navy blue was so solid and bold. So I tuck that in and the LOL goes away. <laughs> um, I think this is the point where I realize I haven't even looked up my, the sticker sheet at all. Like I didn't use I didn't use any washi. I didn't use any of the other clear stickers. I At the beginning of the video, I kind of showed you all the um, items that I have with the line. And that's okay. Like, I can make lots more layouts with that stuff. So um, I do find this and sticker, which I really like. And I wanted to get that turquoise over to the right side of the page a little bit since I had it on with the camera and that too cute on the bottom. I wanted to get it a, in a third place. And with that, I call it good as far as the larger embellishments. And so now I just... Um, uh, sp sprinkle semi enamel dots um, that also came with the line and just scatter them around the page and then I journal um, and call it good. So um, while I'm doing that, I'll just tell you guys a little bit about this page. Um, this is a YouTube page, it's called Crafty Maven Getaway, um, about where you, there's a new video every day, and every day has a theme, and each week there's different inspiration, and so I hope that you um, subscribe to the channel, and there's some amazing um, scrapbookers and art journalers um, that are premiering their videos on, on this page, and are, um, I guess not premiering, but um, are being focused on, and just some amazing, amazing talent, and and um, definitely keep checking, um, checking out the page and 
hopefully you can get some great inspiration. And thank you so much for watching. Um, check below for links for more information. Thank you, guys.